Right, so in um, the last video about self-watering containers that I did, I showed you how to make this large grey one. That's got a couple of bricks in and then the lid of the container was cut down to size to sit on top of the bricks and a colander's in the middle of the bricks which sits in the water reservoir at the bottom. I forgot to show you these drainage holes that I've cut around the side, which is an important thing, just above the level of the water so you don't get too much water in the container. Now I'm going to show you this other method which I've just uh, done today. Here's a slightly smaller container. Now in it we've got some upside down plant pots which you can see here and a few empty plastic bottles you can see there turned upside down so that they will effectively create the water reservoir at the bottom uh, and there's also an empty water bottle there and a plastic cup uh, a bit of water bottle chopped off there and another uh, old plant pot and they're packed with tightly packed soil uh, they will wick up the moisture of the water in the reservoir from the un upturned pots. I've also, I've also filled in the gaps between the upturned pots of all this broken up pots. I found an old pot here which I smashed up with a hammer. Uh, that's to stop too much soil falling down. And here again is a watering pipe that goes down to the bottom. I cut off a small sort of section to try and stop it getting blocked. Now I'm just gonna fill this container up with some compost and it'll be ready for planting up. So there we have it, another very simple, effectively free method. I haven't spent any money on this. I found a bit of old tubing, I found this box in the rubbish, and I found these plastic bottles and old pots and broken pots just lying around my back garden. Free self-watering container.